I am Hatan. Greetings, my friends, in the love and the light of our infinite creator. It is very pleasing to be able to speak with all present this evening. We are grateful to meet so many new members. I should state at this time that I, and all with whom I am working, consider ourselves to be brothers and sisters. We are unified in our purpose and in our thought. And many would immediately ask of our purpose. My friends, our purpose is to love and serve the people of planet Earth and throughout the Creator's infinite universe. We of the Confederation of Planets in service to the Infinite Creator have come to Earth at this time to offer whatever assistance we may be able to render. And presently we are limited to this assistance in the form you are experiencing now. We are communicating through instruments such as this one speaking to mass numbers of inhabitants upon your planet. The words which we speak are offered with love and as guidance, intellectual guidance along the pathway of enlightenment. Yet we stress, my friends, that the intellect is only a minor tool in your development. My friends, you know as well as all other people that possess an intellect that your intellectual capacities are quite limited. There are many things which you have accepted as truth that are unexplainable through your intellectual processes. Uncomprehensible yet true, my friends. Truth is greater in capacity, or should I say in size, than what the intellect is capable of perceiving. Truth is infinite, and all things within the creation are unlimited, as is your experience, and as is your knowledge. For your knowledge truly lies within the core of your being, within the oneness of the Creator, within his presence within you my friends your journey throughout this universe and throughout this creation is one of cycles which never end which are constantly expanding in knowledge and experience upon your pathway you shall encounter many circumstances through which you may learn and your present encounter upon the planet Earth is one of very great importance in the scheme of your progression. My friends, man upon planet Earth presently stands upon the threshold of unlimited knowledge. Unlimited love, unlimited, my friends, infinite, never-ending. It is your birthright to know these truths. Yet there is only one way to truly comprehend and to truly be enlightened. And as you may well be aware... That way is through the practice of meditation. My friends, we have told you that the truths, the unlimited and infinite truths, lie beyond the capacities of your intellect. 
Therefore, in order to explore these truths, to learn and know of these truths, you must go beyond the intellect. Allow it to still itself. Allow it to rest. And let the spiritual intellect begin to avail its information to you. You may not hear words, my friends, but you shall hear truth and love. In your moments of silence, you shall hear the universe speaking through the lips of the Creator the truths of infinity and love. My friends, Although I stress to you the necessity for meditation seemingly consistently, I do not stress it enough. But still, my friends, we do not want to force this upon you. The decision is yours. In either way that you decide will be the path that you have chosen. We know in our experience of no other way for a somewhat speedy path, shall we say, than meditation. But the choice is yours. We are aware of some questions in your minds, and you may have noticed some of them have already been answered. My friends, although the idea of our presence may seem rather uncommon at this time, we say to you that we have been with you for a very long time. If any of you desire our thoughts or our presence at the moment that you desire it, we are with you. We can only help you if you desire it, for that is our way. We leave the free will of each person in creation alone. For you see, through your own desire can be the only way we may assist you. But it is our sincere desire to be able to be with you. We consider it a very great honor to be of assistance. We are with you, my friends. As we speak to you about meditation as a method of furthering your interest within this life, we wish to stop for a moment and take advantage of your experiences at this particular time. We ask that you consider your environment at this particular time, the darkness and the chill of winter. How many hours have been spent in darkness and cold? Think, my friends of the true nature of that which is unfolding within one of your religious systems of belief. There is a story that is told that is a true story. The story is of a child born in the darkest winter, poor, cold, hungry, the child that grew to be the master whom you know as Jesus. My friends, each of you is waiting to be born. Each of you is in the dark, in the cold, for it is within the darkness and the chill that all things come together to be born. It is the nurturing, saving darkness and the chill is necessary. And with meditation, my friends, you nurture and comfort that soul within you 
as it struggles towards its spiritual birth. There has been within your history, we are aware, much misunderstanding as to the reason for the mother of the one known as Jesus being called a virgin. You must realize that it is to indicate to all that the spirit is not of man, but of the creator. Each of you is of the creator. Each of you is waiting to be born. Nurture that within yourself. No matter that the environment may seem less than perfect, it surely cannot be more imperfect than a cold, cold stable and a stall and animals for companions. The realities are of the Creator, my friends. We greet you always in love and in light. Love moves in the darkness, and its energy brings forth the light. Each of you is formed in perfect love. Each of you shines with perfect light, my friends. But there are many, many colors. How many colors can you think of? Perhaps the number is infinite, for there are shades and gradations within each color that go on and on. And each one is distinguishable from the next. And yet, in reality, each is a part of of the white light. So are you, my friends. And all that you meet are other portions of the same light, formed in perfect love also. How hard it is to see the perfection of the Creator in each person. For each person is a different shade, and some shades seem to clash with yours. But all are formed of white light. All are one with you and you with them. Why are you here? We may say to find out why you are here for the creator itself knows itself and the desire that caused you is a desire to realize selfhood the creator is waiting to be known the creator waits within you and can be found through meditation I am Hatan. I will attempt to say one more thing through this instrument before I leave her. I am aware that there are questions. I would like to answer one of a more general type, and that is simply to say that there are, within the confederation of planets in the service of the infinite creator, many different types of entities. There are some, not many, but some, who are actually of the same physical, as you would call it, plane of reality as you are. There are many more who are as we, in that we are able to assume the vibrations of your world and appear as, shall we say, physical objects. 
However, we are also able to adjust our vibrations to what you would call the astral plane of existence so that we are moving within another continuum and are invisible to you, although very much with you. There are also many within the Confederation of Planets who are totally on this level, or should I say, on a higher level of vibration. Yet, all of us are here with one hope only, and that is to be of service to you. There are many levels of vibration upon planet Earth, and in each of them, there is the same confusion. We are helping on the physical, and others help within the worlds which interpenetrate the physical. All are Earth, and were you not to be here in the physical, but by reason of what you call death, have passed into one of the other planes, you would also be aware of our presence. Our presence, we genuinely hope, is of support and love. We come to tell you that there is no end to the Creator, as far as we know, and we have been somewhat further than you. We come to reach a hand out for those before us have done it for us, and so we do it for you. And one more thing, my friends. We do this because at the level of understanding which we have reached, we find we cannot progress further except by service to others. For within our universe, the law which is in the universe, called the Golden Rule, has become completely and totally obvious. So that what we give determines immediately and completely what we get. We cannot receive further knowledge unless we give freely of what we have now. Therefore, it is to our advantage and for our progress that we are here. I am Hatan, and I will say but a few more words through this instrument. And that is, my friends, that all that was created by the infinite creator is what is known to you as love. Now, my friends, due to ties that you have evolved upon your planet, this concept is seemingly sought by those of your planet. My friends... Through living out your existence surrounded in love, you may see that you protect yourself from all that you do not wish to experience. For, my friends, there is nothing stronger than love. But, my friends, it is not something to hold on to. For, my friends, you do not evolve by holding on. We ask you to meditate daily. Surround yourself in this love. To all that you come in contact with, my friends, it is an existence that we have experienced for some time, and my friends, I can honestly state that the happiness we experience cannot even be imagined by you. This is, as we said, your...
birthright. We wish to share this with you, and this is the message that we have for you this evening. It has been an extremely great honor to share in this meditation with you. I leave you in the love and the light of our infinite creator. Adonai, my dear friends.